light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Europe Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys five glam DIYs that you can use in a small bathroom or in a powder room. This is the space that I'll be working on. And the first DIY will be to make the glitter wall. I got two particle boards from Home Depot that are two by four and join them together with a smaller piece of wood in the middle. And at the back, I used tape. What I have here is the size of the mirror that's in the bathroom and I intend to cover it with something more stylish. Now that it's all joined together, I spray painted it silver. Now for the glitter wall, I'll be using this whole jar of Mod Podge, 16 ounce of glitter that I got from Walmart. And I also got black and silver extra fine glitter. I'll be applying three coats of this mixture for the glitter wall. So because of that, I'll make sure that the mixture will be done in such a way that I can have it done two more times. Now to make it easy, you can separate everything into three equal parts before you start. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This should be done in a well-ventilated area. I'm doing mine outside and I'm applying it with a roller brush. After two hours, it was dry and I can see a lot of patches. So I'm gonna go ahead again with a second coat. But before I make a full roll, I'm just going to go ahead and touch the patches to make sure that they have enough glitter. I waited for about 30 minutes before applying the second full coat. After the second coat was dry, I applied the third coat and then I left it overnight to completely dry. And this is what it looks like. It is okay to touch, hard, and it's well sealed. Now I turned it to the back and I attached wood so that it would compensate for the thickness of the frame that I have in the bathroom that's for the mirror. I attached the wood with this strong adhesive and now to attach this to the wall I'm going to be using this adhesive roll and I'll have a link for this down in the description box below. I'll have three of this attached to the back of the board. One is going to be above the mirror and two is going to be attached in the middle. Now that I've covered up that boring mirror, I'm going to style it the way I want. For the second DIY is going to be the lighting. Now I'm going to take a foam board and cut it to size and then cover it up with mirror reflective paper. Now I'm going to be using a bit of this metallic trim and I'll be attaching it to the board. After putting in the trim, I'm going to use hot glue at the front and at the back to make sure that it stays in place. I'll be adding glam to what I'm making with these crystal beads that I got online. I'll be arranging them in different lengths for the design. I'm starting with 10 linked gems and then reducing it by one till I get to just two linked gems. I'm going to do that for one side and repeat the same thing for the other side. 
Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to hang them evenly spaced on the metallic trim. For the lights, I'll be using this push light that I got from Walmart that uses a remote. It comes with an adhesive pad. I'll be covering the round openings on the trim with gems. This was super easy, right? Now, because I'm working with a limited space, I was able to make my own wall scones that's gonna fit right where I want it to be. I'll be gluing on a hook at the back to mount it on the glitter wall that I just made. Because of the mirror that I have behind, I used a short screw for this. The third DIY will be to cover some parts of the wall with a shower curtain. I've used this technique a lot of times for a lot of my videos. So for today, I'm gonna have one large shower curtain cut into two and attached to a board and mounted to the wall. Each house will be on separate walls. I'll be covering this bottom part here and the one that's by the side. The side here is close to the faucet, so I'll be using PVC and covering it up with mirror reflective paper. What I've just made is gonna cover this side of the wall. The fourth DIY will be to cover the top of the table. I'm going to use black contact paper that I got from Walmart just to see what it's going to look like. If I'm not satisfied with it, I will switch it up for something brighter. I'll cover up some parts here with the contact paper. When I was done, I then attached what I made earlier. The other side was bare, so I covered it up as well to make it uniform. It was looking kinda dark, so I switched it up for a brighter marble contact paper. The fifth and the last DIY for this video will be storage, and I will be using a kitchen organizer. The back is gonna be attached to the wall with the adhesive roll. I'm going to turn my towel rail into a shelf and I'll take this hard styrofoam that I got from one of the packagings from an item that I got online and I'll be using zip ties on two sides and attaching it to the rail. I'll be keeping toilet paper on it. Now this is how all the DIYs look like together. I added LED lights behind the mirror and I love the effect that it gives. These are all inexpensive DIYs that are put together and has turned a boring looking bathroom into something spectacular. I'm so glad I covered up that big mirror that was there and replace it with something that reflects who I am. I wanted something stylish and different and I wasn't really interested in the big mirror because I already have a big large mirror in the other bathroom. So this is perfect for the extra bathroom. I hope you all enjoyed this renter-friendly bathroom transformation. 
Now don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you so much for watching! I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button!